Well, as fentanyl holds a tighter grip on Washington's opioid crisis, tribal leaders are urging the legislature to break down silos of government and fight as a united front. Facing race reporter Sharon Yu shows us while many indigenous people have become the face of this issue, opioids affect everyone. I'm here in Olympia where local tribal leaders are leading the fight against the opioid epidemic. They are asking state lawmakers to join in on the fight. We aim to instill hope, raise awareness and respond to the sense of urgency that we are hearing from family members, tribes, all of our communities, survivors and communities around us who are facing this crisis in our state. Fentanyl has only renewed that sense of urgency as a former chairman of the Macaw tribe, Nate Tyler has seen Ooh, history years. repeat like itself. Like I said, it wasn't fentanyl way back then, it was a different drug of choice um, that our communities were seeing. Tyler says standing at the podium, he is hopeful that the never ending work of helping those with substance abuse disorder is finally making moves. We're downriver pulling people out. Um, you know, at some point we have to go upriver and see, you know, why they're falling in. That work of saving lives is especially important for Tyler, who says his son is currently seeking treatment for his grandson looking for his father. Uh, he, he come up to me and he said, Papa, When's my daddy coming back? And, you know, for, for me, I mean, that, that caught me off guard. You know, he just wants his dad back. And I, I didn't, didn't know how to answer him. Yeah. And he said, uh, I just want him back before I turn 10. Staying strong for loved ones? for all those fighting. This is by far worse um, than everything combined that we've ever seen, so uh, we have to have to deal with it. Nate Tyler says his son is two months into his recovery journey and he is doing well. There are at least four bills on the docket that will help different jurisdictions find a holistic approach to recovery health care. In Olympia, Sharon Yu, King 5 News.